This video is brought to you by Storyblocks Video. Oh, hey guys. We're breaking world records today. It's the hottest day ever recorded in Belgium. They've even called off Code Red, which means that nobody can come outside and play. Yet, we are going to do the bottle cap challenge outside. All right, let's do this. All right, take two, Janik. It's so hot that I had to stick my microphone on my shirt because it won't stick to my body because I'm sweating too much. Anyways, guys, have you seen the bottle cap challenge yet? It all started with Jason. Staden. Staden. It all started with Jason Levine. I always want to say Jason Levine. He's the guy from Adobe. It's not Jason Levine. It's Jason Stratum. 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 Oh, man. It all kind of started with Jason Stratum. And that was pretty cool. And now the whole internet is doing this challenge where you want to kick off the, the cap of a bottle. It's too hot to make these videos. Anyways, guys, uh, we are a filmmaking channel. Ch challenge. Channel. We're a filmmaking challenge. Challenge. Yep, the bottle cap challenge. Challenge. <laughs> We've actually seen a video where Jason Statham kicks off a cap, but then someone reveals that it wasn't real, that it was made in 3D. Now, funny enough, Jason actually did it for real, but someone decided to spread a fake, fake video. Now, besides, why would you do it in 3D if you could do it easily in Premiere? By the way, guys, talking about internet stuff, we've been getting some great responses on our Instagram lately. We're publishing something fun and film-related every day. Plus, through these stories, you can see us working behind the scenes on these videos right here. So make sure to follow us on Instagram. There's a link in the description below. All right, guys, so we're going to fake the bottle cap challenge so that it always works. So we're going to do that with five bottles at the same time, which is going to look really cool. But in order to make that effect work, we are first going to have to build something. It's going to be something really easy, so follow me inside because it's really hot here. I think that Belgium is correct when they said it's code red. Don't go outside. Yeah, we shouldn't. Let's go inside with the bottles. Welcome to our brand new space, guys. Here we can kind of work on things. We have these racks where we can put all of our stuff in. And up there, we're gonna build a small little studio where we're still kind of building it all, but it's gonna look amazing. So for the bottle cap challenge, what you wanna do is make sure that your bottles can stay at the exact same spot for the two shots that we're gonna take later on. So we're gonna have to build something. We can either like put tape around these bottles or we can kind of like drill them to a plank or something. Maybe that would work. Let's try that. This looks pretty good. Let's go outside. And we're back outside, back in the oven. I feel like a pizza. If my mom is watching right now, sorry. She works in the hospital, so she's always worried about my health. And uh, she's probably thinking now, you're crazy, Jordy, for going outside and shooting this. You should stay inside. Anyways, let's get back to the bottle cap challenge. Uh, so we got this construction right now, which is great because now all of these bottles will stick at the exact same spot. That is exactly what you're gonna need. Now you wanna take seven, seven shots in total five are because we're working with five bottles and uh, the two extra shots are needed to make the effect work and the first one of those extra shots is going to be an empty shot there we go just fill in the bottle standing here with their cap on super important then you're going to take the five shots of the bottles and what you want to do every time you just kind of like loosen those caps from the bottles and with your finger make sure that it sits behind the cap and then just twist it there we go. Now do that for every single bottle. And there we go. You've all filmed that from the camera, which we're getting into in a moment. But first, the last shot, the seventh shot, and that is where you're gonna kick some ass. I mean, you're gonna kick some bottles. You're just gonna swipe your foot like this. Of course, don't touch the actual bottles. Just swipe your foot like that. And that's it, guys. If you wanna add like an extra effect to it, what you're really gonna sell the effect is every time that you're gonna wave your foot like in front of those bottles, have a friend or something kind of just bump the table. 
like that. Not too hard because you don't want the bottles to move. Just like a gentle touch so that the bottles will kind of wiggle a little bit and that way it really feels like you're hitting that bottle which is going to be really cool. And now let's get over to the camera over there. Here is the camera which sits on the tripod. Super important because we're taking these seven shots and you were, we're actually going to lay all of these shots on top of each other. We're going to do some blending, some masking. Damn, it's hot. And uh, that way all of your shots have to be exactly the same framing. Let's go inside, Janik. It's way too hot. Whew. Damn. It is super hot, so it's best to stay inside and do some editing. So let's fire up Premiere. But first, a big shout out to our sponsor, Storyblocks Video, where you can challenge yourself to download their entire library filled with high quality stock clips, effects, transitions, templates, overlays, and so on. There's only a single price per year, which makes it so incredible. I can highly recommend to check it out as there's always a video asset that you can use for your work. For more information, make sure to click that first link in the description below. And now, place the shot of you kicking the bottle on the first video track. Now, I actually did not kick on the same height, even though that I tried it a couple of times, but it's really hard. It really is. Next, your empty shot with the caps on the bottles goes on top of there. And I'm going to duplicate this shot four times so that we've got five layers of it for each bottle. Then select the empty shot on the top track Head over to the effects controls and take the pen tool under opacity. This allows you to draw a mask around the cap. Now do this for every shot, but then for a different bottle each time. Doing so will isolate every cap and pretend like it sits back on the bottle since they weren't visible in your high kick shots. All right, now look for the point where you kick and seem to hit the first bottle. For me, that would be the third bottle, but let's just assume that it was at the right height. And this got me thinking that I probably can't kick off the cap for real. I mean, I can't even bring my foot at the right height. So at this point, you can trim the clip of the allocated cap. Next to it, place the shot you took of the twisting the cap off from that specific bottle. And make sure that you trim it as well so that it starts with its twisting right away. Select that layer, then head over to the effects controls and click on the mask pen tool to cut out the cap and of course get rid of your finger. Then make sure that you're doing this on the start of the clip because we're going to enable the animation by clicking on the stopwatch. Now it's going to take some work as you'll need to move one frame forward in time and adjust your mask to make it follow the cap. If you were smart, you could pay attention that you didn't stand too much behind the bottles. That way you can make a rougher mask and the animation will go fast. We, on the other hand, were not so smart. And Janik had to spend the entire day masking out five caps frame by frame. Now, thinking back on it, we should have just filmed it again. So this process works the same for every cap. You trim the empty shot to the point where your foot hits the cap, or somehow hits the cap, then you add a clip of the cap popping off and mask it out. Now because we pop the cap off with our finger, the bottle will wiggle a little bit, so you'll need to enable the animation for the position property in the beginning and adjust the cap frame by frame to make them stick to the bottle. Of course, once they are off, you could reset the position property back. During the masking, it could be possible that two caps cross each other, definitely if you're doing five bottles at the same time. Now make sure that their depth perspective is right. The cap that is closer to the camera should be on top. If it's not the case, then simply swap the layers in the video tracks. And that's it! Now let's kick some bottles. Oh yeah, take that, Jason Statham. I challenge you to kick off six caps now. But then again, I'll always beat you. Heck, I could even do a hundred bottles. I got a donkey up there in my office who's ready to animate masks all weekend. What do you got? Oh yeah, I forget, you're a film actor. You've probably got an whole army of editors behind you. Eh, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for subscribing, for liking, for following us on Instagram, for commenting, for binge-watching our videos and other stuff. And thank you, Storyblocks, for the support. Stay creative. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even hit it. I didn't even hit it. But I'm not hitting it up here. <laughs> it's too hot for this. It's too hot. <sighs> or put tape around it. Let, let's see what we can come up, come up, come up with.